All right, we're headed over to take on another rat call from another pest control company who's been trying to solve this issue for over a year, and we're about to get started right, right now. now. All right, guys, so we get a call from our client, Anthony, who says, guys, I've had a pest control guy out here for over a year. They can't seem to figure it out. In fact, they're the ones that found you and highly recommended you guys. So I appreciate whoever's out there yes. on the pest control is taking that accountability and recommending us. Truly appreciate that, you guys. And if you are a pest control tech and is having a hard time, please feel free to reach out. We're here to help. We're a huge uh, pest control community that we're all about helping each other out. So I appreciate that. Let's go meet Anthony. And most importantly, let's get this thing solved. And we have a little bit of a surprise for you, so stay tuned for that. That's right. It's a little chilly, little chilly. Hey, Anthony. How are you doing? Good, how are you, buddy? Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. So this is where you're hearing them? Well, well, I was hearing them under the tub, actually, here, so I cut a hole here. Okay. And then uh, you can see, like, they've, like, funneled through the foam underneath the bathtub and everything. I think that's, like, a week old. Like, you see where the floor's kind of coming up? Yeah. And I had that issue before, and they redid the shower and everything. So the exterminator actually was like a big fan of your guys' videos and so then he smelled that like the top pole or the tube coming out. Yeah. And then uh, that's when he's like, I think you gotta call these guys because I'm pretty sure they're coming from your sewer, like we've closed everything up. Got it. We're gonna prep this hallway here. I don't know because I can't even find that other No, it was like a heavy duty snap trap. And like, it took it. I don't know. Oh where it walked it away with it. it. Yeah. Was a lot of but... yeah, that's why you always gotta secure your traps, Anthony. <laughs> 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 Where did you catch that? Where did you catch yeah. the truck? Or the rat? Under that. Uh, oh, the truck. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a hole right here. There's all kinds oh, of okay, okay. rat droppings and stuff. All right, as you can hear, Anthony caught some rats in here. So his snap trap is somewhere underneath that tub. This one smells like Listerine. Little bit right there. We like that. So what we're gonna do is we'll open up that hallway there, expose the plumbing, expose underneath that tub, and then we'll uh, perform the smoke test here and see what we can do to come up with this. It is a slab house, so we don't need to crawl. More than likely, there's probably gonna be a breach behind that tub somewhere. My prediction is it's going to be from about right here down. Let's see if I'm right. My prediction could be over here. Follow me. I think the breach is going to be somewhere along this common wall right here. If you go up there, well, I have a ladder, but there's a bunch of traps that I've laid just okay. Because historically, when I first found the problem, like that's where I thought it was coming from. So I laid all the traps up there and with the exterminator guys, and that's where they started like closing on the side of the house and over on everything and in the garage too. Now everything's like completely sealed in the garage, but uh, it's okay. empty, so I don't think there's any. Have you caught any rats in the attic? Maybe like four weeks ago I caught oh, one. Oh, you did? Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So Anthony put glue traps. Oh, there's a rat right there, a baby one. You can see right there they chewed, chewed a hole right underneath the uh, styrofoam there, underneath that tub. More than likely there's going to be a nest underneath that tub. You can see where they sort of burrow their way through underneath that styrofoam. I need some light. Yeah. Oh, shoot. He's stuck. Yeah, he's stuck. baby the little baby all right i've got my ferret camera i'm gonna insert it inside one of those holes that they burrowed underneath the tub if we can see any more babies yeah i found anthony's rat trap and it definitely looks like it's deployed see the the tip of it right there so once we open up that wall we'll be able to be able to grab it i'm gonna go ahead and use our twin design Brander there and start neutralizing because it's it's smelly. Oh, look at the blood! The blood that Anthony was talking about, right there. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use our battery-operated 
pump sprayer to really pump a lot in there. All right, so we're getting the smoke machine here set up. We're gonna start making an incision right now inside that wall. All right, so we got the smoke machine coming out of the vent here. Look at this. Smoking. Smoking. Dave was right. The breach is right here, right behind the toilet. So what they were doing is they were coming in through here, traveling here, and then behind that tub, and then nesting underneath this tub area here. You can see the rat grease here, them coming up to the attic space. So Jim, did you find the breach? I did, I did. Where did you, let me see, let me see. Right where I told you it was going to be. No, I'm the one that, didn't I say? I said it's gonna be right here. Look at that, nasty. <laughs> All right, we're gonna spray some enzyme in here. This wall cavity, if you could imagine, it smells really, really bad from all the rat grease and urine. You can tell that that's urine there. So now that we've found the breach, it's time to relax a little bit and have some fun. We're gonna do a little prank on a new guy right now. Let's see what his reaction is. Jose. Jose. Jose, give me the Saza with a metal blade. I gotta cut some metal. All right. All right. So we're gonna set the prank up like I'm cutting. Watch, see if we can get this guy. So I got this little finger right here. Looks somewhat real. Get things all, I'm gonna get things all set up. And then you must, oh no, he can see you. Cut his finger, cut his finger. Go help him, go help him. Mm -hmm. While I go get something. Okay. I'm gonna kind of keep the door shut. Uh, you, when Raul says turn the vacuum off, just shut it off, okay? okay. Yeah, you can turn it on. Yeah. <laughs> No, no, Jose. Are you there, Jose? 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 Yo, Jose? Where's Jose? Jose, do it. Raul, you go get the emergency kit. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 Did it cut it all the way? Yeah. <laughs> what was, did you help, help me, please. Quítalo. Thank you, no mames. <laughs> What did you feel like? No, you, I feel scared, man. Are you scared? Sorry, man. I had to. Never do that again. Okay. Never, never do it again. Oh, oh, He's really scared. Oh. 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 What were you feeling? I felt he was gonna die with that <laughs> finger on me. I'm gonna go home right now. Look at that thing. Oh, that was ketchup. That was nasty. Oh man. Thank God my finger didn't get cut. So this is a transite pipe. We cannot be touching that because that's uh, asbestos. So we're trying to figure out a way to close this up right now, just temporarily until we get an asbestos company to come out and remove that, dispose that. Okay, Anthony, we have some good news. All right, you're awesome. Follow us over okay. here. So we did our smoke test. Uh-huh. And there's your breach. That's uh -oh. why we're coming in and out. Oh, that makes sense. That's exactly where I could hear a bunch of the activity. So they chewed through there. See yeah. all the grease, the grease marks? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Did they chew through I there think, or was it I just think broken? there's a piece of, yeah, it was broken, yeah. Okay. Now this pipe right here is a transit pipe, so it's made of asbestos. Mm -hmm. So we can't really, cut technically it. can't cut it. But we found it. What we're gonna do right now is we'll we'll fix this and then we'll set some traps underneath that tub tonight because there could be some it's more, yeah. Yeah, there could be some other babies and other junior rats. Kind of monitor that for the next couple of days. Okay, great. Okay. Awesome.
But that's good news. That's great news. Thank you so much. I was. This is what's been dragging because like the other exterminators, like guys, I don't like. They, were, they couldn't figure it out. They were like, you need that smoke machine. Yeah. And so he was a big fan of your guys' videos. It was great. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's cool. He was Tell like, him thank you. Yeah, Tell for sure. He was like, let me know when they come. So uh, I'll just let. Because he was like, uh, he's like, I think there's a break in this this pipe because he did the smell test. I think he learned from you guys as well. Yeah, yeah. And uh, cool. So, but right. I think they have the yeah, let them know we're here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that cool. Totally. Great, thanks, guys. Awesome, thank you, Anthony. Okay, so we're discharging the exhaust off the vacuum to the outside. This gets all the odors and stuff. I recommend this just because vacuums will not contain the odor. You'll spread that rat urine, all the feces around the indoor air. So this is super, super important to exhaust it to an outside window to keep the indoor air environment clean. All right, guys, I think this deserves the rat dance. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so we're adding a little small tube to our vacuum to get uh, way back up in here where the, the larger hose, the vacuum hose won't get in. So we gotta get creative here. So now we've HEPA back here, everything will just get in there, really spray all of this, and then just do a very aggressive wipe down of all the biofilm here. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so in the meantime, we shoved a piece of metal so they can't come back up, and then we're just gonna seal this off temporarily here. All right, guys, I'm really liking the sponge, using the sponge for, for my bait. What I do is I just take a little piece of sponge like this. I set it right underneath the feeder plate there, just compress that down. But what I like about it is, is that the peanut butter really absorbs well into the sponge right here. All right, so I got some oil on my fingers. I like to spread it right here all over the wood. Let that wood absorb the peanut butter and then get that sponge nice and saturated like that. And really just squeeze it in. Look at that. All right, one thing to really consider when you find those entry points and you think that there's rats left inside that wall or attic, which most often they're in there, they're in there hiding. So you wanna, again, create more of an aroma and don't put as much bait on your traps because if these traps don't work and there's a lot of bait left, they're gonna survive a lot longer in those walls and attics. So little bit of bait, but more aroma to lure them in because they're gonna be in that starvation mode anywhere from three to five days. So they have no other choice but to go after these traps here. So less food is one of my big takeaways on all the jobs that we've done. All right, we're setting a Coro trap. Never gotten anything from using the Coro trap, but what I do like about them is they're small enough to put inside of a wall cavity. So and then we've got it strapped down. So we'll see if this time we get any luck. All right, so we've got the attic protected. We're gonna spray some foam around there so that way we know that there could be potentially rats inside this wall. We don't want them climbing up and heading up to the attic. We wanna keep them contained within the tub area and this wall area. Okay, we've got a trap set underneath the tub here and we'll place a monitoring camera underneath this tub as well, probably in this direction right here because we know that this is their runway. All right, guys, there's been a lot of activity on our monitoring cameras. Check this out. Look at how they're jumping over our rat traps. So here's what we're going to have to do right now. We're going to have to now customize some glue traps. I know a lot of you do not like to use glue. We don't either. But in this case, in order to get these smart rats, we're going to have to use glue. So um, I'm going to have to start heating up the bulk rat glue right now. Oh, you can see here I made a variety of custom glue traps. So now we're gonna head to Anthony's and put these underneath the tub area. You can see the monitoring camera, they're shying away from that trap. So I'm gonna go ahead and place some glue traps right where that opening is for the waste and overflow. And then up on that two by four as well, that seal plate, they, come, they keep coming in and out of that area. It's called disruption. Nothing like it, nothing like it. Those rats are moving around underneath Anthony's tub. They're trying to get out. So we've got to get these guys, got to get them. I'm super excited though. We're closing in on them for sure. Hey Anthony. Hi, uh, how you doing? Good, good. 
All right, so there's our camera and the new glue traps. All right, so now that's set. We're gonna monitor over the next 24 hours, see if we can get these bad babies out of the wall. These rats are pretty smart. They will smell that glue. So it's gonna be a little different for them in that wall cavity space for sure. So that's what we love about those cameras. It really reveals and shows us what the next steps are, what they're hitting, where they're migrating. And then based on that, that gives us the data to properly, you know, take those next steps. So let's see what the, let's see what the cameras uh, detect and how they're going to be uh, reacting to those glue traps. It's gonna be very, very interesting. All right, guys, about an hour later, check this out. All right, guys, a few hours later, I'm right back at Anthony's to clean up that rat and reposition those glue traps. See if we can get any more. Here we go. That was quick, huh? That was the quickest 15 minutes ever. <laughs> we got that rat pretty quickly, though. Yeah, that was really fast. Wow, that was quick guys on those glue boards. So hopefully that was the last one. We're just gonna continue to monitor it through the weekend and see what we find. And uh, we'll be in communication with, uh, with Anthony. All right guys, I got a call from Anthony saying his house smells really bad. So if you looked at that little juvenile rat, um, went way over and completely dodged our glue trap. So I think he's dead inside that wall cavity behind the, either the tub or that toilet. So. We got to go and inspect, disinfect, and uh, see what we can do to get rid of this odor. So he got hungry. And... All right, I went ahead and sanitized it with our uh, Twinzyme. Smelling better already. Well, guys, awesome. That was the last rat. There's been no more activity on that camera, so that's great news. Anthony is completely happy with it. You can tell sort of the, the awe and the relief that they have, so that's really awesome. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you love that prank or if that was out of, out of line. Love to hear your comments on that. Hit that subscribe button, and as always, we'll see you on the next one.